Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We are on board the Carnival Panorama. Yeah, so we have the whole family here. They went to go get something to eat. Yes. And of course, we know we have to get our drinkies on first. Oh, yeah. This is the drink of the day. The, uh, what is it called? Something the treasure. red. Yeah, Red Rum Treasure. What did yes. you get? I got the uh, Red's Remedy. All right, cheers, babe. Cheers, babe. Oh, this has Malibu rum in it, so you know I like it. Mine's pineapple -y and orange juicy. Oh, really? Uh, good stuff. Yeah. Nice. Now, well, we're going to cut away and we'll show you how it was for the kids' uh, first impressions when they first came on board. So, we're asking these new time cruisers what they think they're going to feel once we step on that ship. So, go ahead. That's go. Nico. What do you think? I feel like I'm just going to feel all the waves. Okay, around. how about you, Aaron? I feel the same way. I've never been on a boat except for like Pirates of the Caribbean <laughs> or you know some like other Disney or you know Jurassic Park. But um, we'll see. Right. Or like the Mark, the Mark Twain is probably the biggest one that you. Yeah, the on. Mark Twain or like the pirate ship as well. Yeah. I don't think I've really because it's on a track, so it's gonna feel different. But this is obviously. Oh yeah. Well, what, what are you expecting, Christopher? What? Uh, on the ship. Uh, How it's gonna feel? Yeah. It's gonna feel like this, just on the ship. Oh yeah! Wow. Okay. You're not yeah. gonna. You're not gonna feel like you're on the ship. What's your uh, expectations when you first step onto the ship? Uh, I just want to get a cold drink. A cold drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, of course, Linda. She already cruised before, so she already knows what to expect. Pina colada. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Drinkies. Okay, now we're on the gangway. Wow, wow that, that, that's a lively bunch right there. <laughs> okay, we're on board. I like it. It's kind of cool. Very nice. Very nice. What do you think? Looks a little weird? Yeah? Looks cool? I like it. interesting. So yeah, it looks like they're going to have a really good time. They're going to have a good time. Oh yeah. yeah. So let's go meet up with them. Let's go. First time playing the roulette yeah. table. So Christopher introduced us to roulette. Nico won. He did. And that. Oh. Now I won. Oh wow, this is a hundred hundred wow. chip right there. Yeah, yeah, there is. Somewhere. So I know my limit. I'm stopping for tonight. I have six more nights here. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. It was a fun night last night. It was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now we are up early. We're going to go to the coffee house. Yes. We'll give you a little information tour of that. Yes, and we're going to have the kids meet us a little later. I think they're going to meet us for uh, breakfast. Have they yeah, at least a couple of them. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I think we're going to, we're thinking of meeting up the sea day brunch today because it is sea day. You That's know, right. sea day number one. Yes, yes. So we're going to go ahead at the sea day brunch. Uh, see if there's any changes in there. We'll report them to you if there's any changes in there. Um, otherwise, uh, we're just going to go have a good time. Yes. One of the changes Carnival has is at the back of the ship, right next to the coffee house at Ocean Plaza. That's where they have the, uh, some of the shows in the evening. Karaoke. Like karaoke and stuff. They used to have like a miniature hot and cold buffet selection for breakfast, but now they nixed it. So I believe that applies to all carnival ships now. And it was too bad because it was a great place to quickly grab something to eat. But uh, now you have to go up to the Lido Deck, Deck 10, in order to get your, your buffet food. On the panorama, there are two coffee houses. One over where the coffee house is where all the sweets are. And then we have one at the bar. So here's the same menu. Yes, so the price reasonably, yes. right? Mm -hmm. But this is what's included in the drink package, which we have the drink package on this ship. And the drink package is a price per day, and you have to get it for the duration of your cruise. And everybody 21 and over in the same cabin has, has to, get to get it. it. Right. Has to get it. So we come to the bar coffee house, which is right here, and the other coffee house. 
had a little bit of wine. Let's show Pat over there. Yes. And you know, uh, if you need to go to this coffee house, it's because they sell pastry. Yeah, that's the pastry one. Pastries are very reasonable as well. We just got seated at the Sea Day brunch. We're here with uh, Christopher and Aaron here. Yeah. Uh, you have a little update. Yes. So everything here, it is very app heavy or phone heavy, basically. That you're you're scanning tons of QR codes for everything. Make sure you download that Carnival app. Everything is on the phone. Yes. So make sure you have an updated phone so they can read the, the yeah, all the menus. Because Linda, my sister, she has an old iPhone eight. Yeah. And she has a problem re scanning the, the menus on the yes. QR code. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So make sure you have an updated have that phone. That QR code? Yeah. yeah, so uh, every table has like a QR code like that. Mm -hmm. That's what you use just to look at the menu. Got the eggs Benedict. Do you get a choice between ham and salmon? So I opted for the regular ham. The side of bacon, you get a little bit of home fries. Let's uh, cut into this egg. Oh, here we go. Yes, looks really good. Here we go, going for the bite. That's some pretty uh, thick cut bacon right there. That is an excellent hollandaise sausage. Very light, creamy, very tasty. Let me try some of this bacon. Great bacon, great eggs benedict, perfect first breakfast on the cruise. I put my breakfast together since they didn't actually have my breakfast, so I ordered a side of eggs, which is two eggs any style. I got over easy. Got some hash browns right here. I have a corned beef hash and two pieces of bacon. So I'm gonna go ahead. I said I wanted to cook well, and so they said all of the corned beef hashes is cooked well. And I like it because it's like the cheap kind. It's like my favorite. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the bite of corned beef hash. Mm -hmm. Really good corned beef hash. Perfect size of the potatoes and the corned beef in there. Um, my little hash hockey, browns. Hockey. Yeah, your little hockey puck uh, hash browns. Nice and crispy. Could be a potato, potato pancake. Not really do. Added hash brown. Has a little bit of seasoning to it. Um, eggs over easy. Perfectly cooked. You can see the runny yolks in there. Oh yeah, this is exactly what I want for breakfast. All right, and uh, the kids uh, like theirs, huh? Good. Okay, we're out in the open sea on the balcony. Look, we're moving pretty good. Oh yeah. On sea days at Guy's Ping and Anchor, it's all you can eat barbecue, no extra charge, it's part of the cost of the cruise. So I got some plum pulled pork, barbecue chicken, mash, uh, with, uh, mac and cheese, and potato salad. So that's really good. Thank you. What you get, Eric? Uh, so believe it or not, this is a Bloody Mary. <laughs> Wow. I um, actually was originally going to get a mojito, but I saw someone next to me that was getting this, and I'm like, holy moly. And so I wanted to get this. Uh, she gave me a choice of not so spicy and spicy. Obviously, I went for spicy. Um, I'm not a huge fan of olives, but um, I'll attempt to take a drink uh, past all this bacon. Let me see. Oh, it's good. It's really good. What's it taste like? Just standard old bloody mary. It's uh, really, it's spicy. It's spicy. It's tomato juice. Tomato juice. Don't take the alcohol at all. No, don't taste the alcohol at all. It's a very spicy tomato juice. Very standard spicy tomato juice. Like if I'm, um, like if you're eating an oyster and you put on the pasta sauce, it kind of tastes like that. Yeah, it's very interesting.
It's bingo time. Bingo. So for it's three games. So everybody plays three games, and then it depends on how many cards you want to play. So mm -hmm. there's one sheet which is three cards. That's mm -hmm. twenty five. Yeah, twenty five dollars. And, and then there's a uh, one sheet that has six cards. That's thirty eight. Mm -hmm. And then there's one sheet that has nine cards, which is forty eight. Yeah, you got the nine cards. I got the nine card one. So I'm gonna like be that. busy. Yeah, and mm -hmm. there's there's actually three sheets yeah. in different colors for different so, games. So again, everybody plays three games here, and our dauber, two bucks. Yes. So if you have your own at home, don't forget to bring it. Yeah. Make some noise! We're at the Alchemy Bar. We're getting our specialty cocktails on. Cheers, everybody. Look at Nico stretching way over there. Yeah. <laughs> How's it? How's it? Refreshing. Yeah, definitely recommend cocktails here at the Alchemy Bar. Good morning. Good morning. Look at that nice view we have. I know, it's so beautiful here and it's not as humid, which is really nice. Yeah, we're just sitting just right outside of Guy's uh, Pig and Egg at the barbecue place. Mm -hmm. And inside the coffee house. Yes, right it's there. really early in the morning, and so uh, no one is here yet. Yeah. So we we were trying to compile. We, were, oh, we always get a lot of questions about cruising and things like that. So we tried to compile in a small little list and try to answer all your questions. Now, if you still have questions, just post them in the below. Comments. Yeah. In the comments below, we're going on a cruise next year, January. We'll either answer them individually or we'll maybe answer those questions on that cruise in January. End of sure. January. Yeah. So we don't want to milk out this whole thing. So let's fire yeah. away, babe. Alrighty. Um, a lot of people are wondering why do we pay extra? Because. Uh, uh, extra as in food, food and right. food. Um, why do you pay extra? Because there's, the food is included on the boat, right? Yes, the food is included on the boat, except for certain areas that do an upcharge. For example, guys, pig and anchor. They the lunch is included because the lunch buffet on sea days, mm -hmm. but at night they do have an upcharge for uh, top of the line food. You can get prime rib for like. Yeah, bucks. they do have prime rib. They also have ribs, uh, items that are not offered for the for the free right uh, lunch. Right, and yeah. why do we pay it? It's because sometimes we want something different. Sure, yeah, yeah. just a different That's experience. Right. And mm -hmm. just like last night, we went to the steakhouse, which will be on a separate video. Right, right. And the steakhouse, if you pay up front forty two dollars for the steakhouse, you're getting a hundred dollar plus meal like you would normally get in Vegas for top of the line steaks and everything for $42. So yeah. when you hit a deal, you, you got to take advantage, especially if, that, if that's the experience you want. It was a stellar experience. The service was amazing. The steaks were absolutely delicious. Yeah. And, and it is an appetizer. We got like a few appetizers, your entree and your dessert. Right, and which you can see all of that in the separate video of the specialty dining. Right. Yeah, which mm -hmm. which was a steakhouse. Mm -hmm. Tonight we're gonna go to the Teppanyaki, which is like the Benihana the dinner right. show. And it's another upcharge. Right, mm -hmm. yeah, these are upcharges. And then uh, finally, we're gonna go to the Italian restaurant. Mm -hmm. So you can see uh, how it is on those upcharge restaurants. It's right. a separate video. Right, right. And the reason why we go is because of the experience and the food. Sure, next mm -hmm. question. Next Let's question. Uh, I don't want people to click off of this. Uh, the crowds. Yeah. Crowds. People are wondering. Now, our boat is at 100%. 100%. So that is 4,000 passengers on this boat, plus a full on crew. So, like 1,500 people. Can you find tables, baby? Look. Check it out. <laughs> yeah, yes, you can find tables. And sometimes you are all alone, like yeah. us right now. Mm -hmm. uh, some congested areas, like the buffet tables, mm -hmm. yeah, you might have to look around, but you will eventually find some seats. Mm -hmm. And There's really, whatever food you get you can take it anywhere on the ship don't feel like you have to eat at that location right you can just go wherever you want right so uh there's indoor dining of course or there's inside at the buffet where the lido is and there's even outside tables mm -hmm. we, we're down here on the fifth floor at the oceans plaza there's tons of tables down here we don't right. even know that the that the ship is at capacity, or we don't feel that the ship is at capacity because we found the table right away. We didn't have to wait for our food. We didn't have 
big buffet lines that everybody thinks because right. everybody comes at different times and things like that. That's right. Yeah, yeah all different be. times. Mm -hmm. The only time that you feel the crowd is when they have special gatherings, like right. a sail away party. Right. A lot of people. But right. then after that, everyone disperses. And you would never think that this boat is at 100%. Yeah. Next. Okay. Uh, is your passports needed? Your passports are not needed. You can do birth certificates. It has to be a certified copy with a raised seal. Of course, look at the Carnival website for the yeah. official details. Don't take our word for it because things always change. Right. So the Carnival website will have the rules, uh, the current rules. Mm -hmm. So be yeah. sure to check that so out. So passports are not needed. If we get those questions as well. <clears throat> excursions. Now, we like, if we do any, any excursions, those are any of those trips off the boat. We like to go through Carnival. A lot of people like to go independently because it is cheaper. But the only thing that we don't like, even though it's cheaper, it doesn't sometimes take into account that you may hit traffic in some of these places because the, we're going to big cities yeah. along the ports. The, the bottom mm -hmm. line is when you book a uh, excursion through Carnival mm -hmm. and that if, uh, whatever you're doing is already late back to the ship, the ship will wait for you. It will not sail away until mm -hmm. you get back to the ship. If you go with an independent tour group, which is just getting off the ship and people holding up signs, I say, hey, we'll take, we'll give you a, a snorkeling tour, or a tour around the island, or whatever the case is. For a cheaper yeah. price, most likely. Right, and if and if something happens where they're stuck in traffic, mm -hmm. car problems, whatever the case is, if you're not back at the ship at a certain time. Mm -hmm. They will leave. Mm -hmm. and, and you it's have up to find to you. your own way. It's up to mm -hmm. you to find, go to the next port or go back to go the back U.S. Home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that's <clears throat> that's the biggest takeaway from it is uh, you pay a little bit more getting it through Carnival, but that's the added insurance. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, picks. Now, yesterday was the elegant night. We did Hawaiian shirt night, and so we took pictures everywhere. Mm -hmm. When you take a picture, especially with the Carnival photographers, you're not obligated to buy them at all. Yep. You see them all, and then you can pick, or you don't have to pick, any of the pictures you may like or not like. There are photo opportunities all over yeah. with with the carnival um, photographers. Mm -hmm. And again, you are not obligated. You can have you can take 500 pics with all these photographers, and you're not obligated to buy any of them. No. So it, it is a fun thing to do, mm -hmm. to look through it and see which ones you like, if any. Right. And you can buy the digital images, so you can just, you know, uh, just email them out or share them on, on social media. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you don't have to buy the actual printed pictures. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, next. Okay, and one more. Oh, now we have the drink package. Sometimes people say it's not worth it. For us, it's worth it because we like our coffees in the morning. We get our bottles of water um, when we get uh, our drinks and things like that. Now, we've noticed that they don't offer the big bottles of water anymore, except in the main dining room, and it's only by request. Yes. I remember before where you would go to the main dining room and they would see you have the drink package and they would automatically bring a bottle, a giant bottle yeah, of water yeah, you to have your to ask table. For it now. now you have to ask for it. Now, of course, at the bars, you could get the regular 16 ounce bottles of water mm -hmm. as much as you want, yeah. you know, so that's yeah. not a big deal. And for us, it's not a big deal. So that's what we do. Yeah. Uh, so for us, the drink package is worth it because we get so many different things. We get drinks here, we get drinks there. They run anywhere between eight to ten dollars. Yeah, and the sometimes, drink package some, yeah, is like sixty a bucks more. a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's just the convenience sake of just walking up, getting your paper, signing it. You don't have to worry about tips or right. unless you want to leave anything extra, mm -hmm. or you don't have to worry about the cost of the drink because everything's all included. Up right. to fifteen alcoholic drinks per day uh -huh. and it's unlimited within five minute increments though but it's unlimited the water the coffees the everything that we take advantage of water is probably they have gatorade oh, hold on. My, my arm's getting tired okay because we forgot the tripod i did hold on i switched arms mm. <laughs> So uh, yeah, uh, that's the updates for right now. Mm -hmm. uh, this afternoon we uh, have some lunch. This is a, this is a sea day. Yeah, another sea day. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, we have our tepanyaki we dinner do. tonight. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, if anything else interesting happens, everybody else is asleep. The whole yeah. family right now. We're the, we're the early risers. We are. We are. Yeah. So uh, well, anything other you. questions? I think I have a few more. I just don't remember them. I'll put them in my notes, so I'll remember the questions. Okay. But yeah, it's gonna be a fun day. Yes. Today is the St. Jude for Kids fundraiser. So like usual, I'm gonna get my teddy bear. I think they still have a few left. So we're gonna 
jump in and get it. Boom! This is where everybody makes their soft serve. Except Nico, he's like the professional. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Yes. Harry Potter trivia. Yeah. You know who's doing good? The one who works in Harry Potter. Yes. Hello. I found it. What? She's very good. Kind of hard though. So she got. Basculus. I can't pronounce that. But yeah, that's true. She got a lot of it. I don't know if she got all of them. She got a lot of them. Woohoo! Finally won. Buffalo. Yeah, that's one of your buffalo machines yeah. here on the ship. But of course, you know I need four spins. Yeah, but you're paying what, 240 a pull, right? Yeah. Uh, it's massive. You broke the yellow bank. <laughs> you broke the yellow bank. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. We just got to Puerto Vallarta. We did. We did. It's a beautiful day. Yes. We, were, we were threatening uh, thunderstorms today. All right. But I think we, I think we locked out. Huh, yeah, baby? We did. We did. Now, uh, be sure to check out the separate video for all three ports. Mm -hmm. We're just going to give you a little snippet of yeah. what we do here. A little teaser. Yeah. Yeah. Probably a, t a taco teaser. Yep. Taco teaser. Let's go. All right. Nothing added to it. Just the way it comes. It is birria plus the cheese, cilantro, everything is in here. Mm. Everybody's ready. Yeah. And the water is not cold at it's, all. It's warm. It's not cold at all, like you said. It's nice and refreshing because we were a little bit sweaty walking back from yeah. where we had lunch at. The bread that we got from Walmart, Double Deal, right? So yeah. It's going like what, well, five cents or something? Yeah, like we that? had to get it. They're freshly done. They were yeah. only five cents. Yeah, so we went to the uh, the buffet and got some cold cuts, some tuna, and some salmon. So we're going to try this out here. It's really good. Has anybody else out of this to get bodils from freshly done bodils from Walmart and then get all your cold cuts here? Right. Can That's the own, way you do it. You can make your own sandwich right yeah. here. How's that, babe? Bread is very fresh. I know it's not going to last longer than today, right? It's good. Got some ham, some of the chipotle mayo. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And we even got more bread. We have this whole bag, and it only cost me like 20 cents for this whole bag of bread. I had to try them out. They're freshly done. I just yeah. saw them take it out of the oven. Very good. Yeah. Your sandwich looks amazing. We just got wet in the little water park. Perfect. Today is the port day. We're staying really long here in Puerto Vallarta. We're done because it's really humid. We were done shopping around, looking around and stuff. So we came back to the pool, to the water park. No one is here. We have the whole place to ourselves and we made our own sandwiches. Can't beat it. Mm. Yeah, this bread is really fresh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Aaron, what'd you get? <laughs> Two pounds of stuff. Wow, look at that. Yeah, you just missed it. Um, it's really good. Yeah, it's good price. Some butter. Yeah, yes, yes. If I can get. As long as you eat it all. Yeah. So you eat it all. That's all that matters. You're pretty good. So I just tell them to go. All right, Nico, what did you get? I got a pound of shrimp and a pound of snow crab. No, I didn't expect for it to be this big, but, you know, I guess I have to eat it all. 
That's a feast. That's a feast. Yeah. There you go. And I'm not gonna eat anything for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. A little update on the buffet over here. Yes. Uh, before, if you didn't want to like dress up for elegant night or anything like that, you can get the same thing in the dining room as you can get at the buffet. Now, it's different food at the buffet than it is at the dining room. Yeah, not. So. it's not completely different. They might have some items offered in the dining room and the buffet, mm -hmm. but they are different stuff. Yeah, it's about 90% different now, but 90%. Yeah, well, yeah. at least on this night. Yes. That's what we noticed. Yes. It's 80s night on board the Panorama, and we all got our 80s glasses and our mustaches. And our hey, look at that thing that's trying to hide over there. Everybody looks really good. Oh yeah. Oh, we should call it the the glasses and stashes, baby. Glasses and stashes. Glasses glasses and stashes. They have a photo booth, so we're gonna yes. go check it out. Let's go. Yes. Very good. Yeah. Oh, nice. Very good. These are the delicious uh, pastries that we got when we were in Mazalan yesterday at the uh, Panera, is that what it's called? Uh, Panama. Panama. <laughs> Panera is a restaurant with soup, right? Yeah. Yeah, and also we have the pastry uh, from that uh, older lady that yeah. had that little. And the lovely lady, she remembered us from right. December, and then a few people, a few you guys went to go visit her when you guys did this cruise. Oh yeah, yeah, so, so she's, she's very much appreciative. She's very right. appreciative. Oh yeah. So we got her, we got the piña. Yes, the, the pi piña. The piña pastry. And I know these are elephant ears. I don't know what the regular name is. Palmier, I think, or something. Yeah. But for us, it's elephant ears. So you have to always support the local when we can. Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go, cheers, babe. It's good, not mm -hmm. that sweet, and so many different layers. It's very crispy. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. It's flaky. Mm -hmm. Perfect amount of pineapple in there. Oh yeah. Oh wow, it's good. These are definitely better than the pastries offered at the buffet. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cheers. <laughs> Here's a little bit different about our cruise is no longer if you're doing room service they no longer have that hang tag you know that you stick out in the morning now everything is a qr code so this is why you would have to either update your phone to make sure you can read all these qr codes this is the qr code yeah it doesn't work right now because you have to be on the ship's wi-fi in order to scan that right what the menu because it's right now it's almost six o'clock uh it's bringing up the late night eats menu and nothing is free everything is upcharged as you can see everything is upcharged and it's not a lot of money i mean, I mean it's two or three dollars for some items but no, there's nothing it's, that's free. It's 6 a.m right now it's uh almost 6 a.m yes almost 6 a.m right now that, don't read that it's my phone time but ship time it's almost 6 a.m and uh right now everything is a charge uh, I know some of the maybe continental breakfast, which we'll know in two minutes, that some things are free, your tea, your coffee, those are free, but, and everything you have to do is now call in for your order. So there's nothing that you leave on your, outside of your door anymore. You call in for your order. Yeah, and uh, every, every cabin has uh, just a regular telephone. That's what you would use. And I believe you cannot use your cheers package if you order anything on here. Alcoholic beverages. Do they have alcoholic beverages? Oh, no alcoholic beverages. In, oh, yep, nope, they have beer. I believe you cannot use your cheers package. I believe on this thing it does charge you. 
So you still have to go outside if you need to use your cheers package for room service. Yeah, yeah, we, we can't Not even for room service, but just if you're doing alcoholic beverages in your room. Yeah, we can't verify that, but when you call, you could always ask. Yes. I know we get a lot of questions about rough seas. Do I get seasick? Can you get seasick? But last night, it was a little bit on the rough side. It was really windy. This is in the morning time, but come check it out. Yeah, it's very windy right now. You can see people chopping the white caps out there. Let's get back inside. A little bit of a wind pass where I have my, my little hoodie on. So, you know, people ask, hey, what kind of uh, meds do you bring along for C-Sigma? This is our usual go-to right here. It's called Bonine. It, it take one pill, last 24 hours. Yeah, it's the side effect, you do get a slight uh, kind of get sleepy early right but and uh, this one here I'm just trying for the first time this is a Dramamine less drowsy formula as well and this is also like once a day so I usually take this it works fine it's my first time trying this so I would think it might be the same active ingredients but I take it as a precautionary measure because I'm, I'm not seasick but I said well if this kind of stays like this the whole day why not, you know, just take one, not take a chance, right? So that's what I use. Uh, everybody else, they don't use it. On the majority of the ships, they do have a laundrette. So this is how you find it. We're staying on that side. But our laundrette is on this side, down the hallway. And you look for the white sign. It says laundrette. Right here, no key necessary. Open it up. Two washers and two dryers and an ironing board. All your soaps are here. You can bring your own Tide Pods, which I'll show you back in the room. And this is how much it costs. And it's just a tap and pay. $3.50 for a wash, which is pretty deep. for the dry and that's how long it takes for the dryer it's approximately 72 minutes and for the washer it's approximately 33 minutes and this is how we do it on a seven day cruise the soap here on the ship it's powder but we like liquid so we got our Tide Pods and we had those those um, little scented beads. This is the only thing I have left though, because we already used our scented beads. You know those downy scented beads. Every time I go to Sam's, when they have the kiosk, you know that gives you the sample of the scented beads for uh, downy or that that thing. I always get my free samples. I save them from when we travel. So that's a tip. Get those little free samples. Save them for when we travel. And here's our little bounce sheets. I just put them in a baggie. Just straight from home. Wow, someone came prepared. Yeah, we came prepared. Oh, totally. We have done our best to serve you this food. We have done for you a so lonesome we you cry. Let's go to So both of you are prepared. Yeah. 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 Happy birthday, happy birthday. Okay. One, two, and five. Happy birthday to you. 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 Happy birthday to First time cruiser interview, 30 seconds or less. Uh, how did you like the cruise? Uh, I liked it a lot. Um, seven days seemed like a lot for others. I thought it went by pretty quick. Um, there's a lot of stuff to do. Uh, on the app, you can select all the different little events that they're doing, whether trivias or come down to the casino. I like playing roulette right behind me. Um, we did the silent disco, that was fun, and all the food was fantastic. Uh, we're, we're, we definitely cruise again. I would do it again.
here. And so what did you think about the cruise from Fruce Timer? Um, I really enjoy it. Uh, of course, it's just a seven day cruise. I can definitely handle seven days. I know they were talking about a 14 day cruise. That I'm not sure because I do get a little homesick, but seven days is enough for me. I really like the uh, ports that we visited. Of course, the, the food is always amazing. Um, one thing, of course, at home, it's nice to have internet connection. It's just a little hard, you know, of course, if you want to post things or if you want to talk to people, you're going to have to wait a little bit and just be really patient. Uh, of course, they do warn you that uh, the connection is just like not at, not Sorry, give me a second. Um, the connection is not the same when you're at home. So something like this, you really do get a lot of family bonding time because, you know, of course, you can't talk to people on the internet. You have your family, so you're forced to talk to them. But a good thing you love us, yeah. right? Right? Yes. <laughs> a, yes, I do love my family a lot. Yeah. It's, it's proof. Blink once if I'm in trouble. How'd you like the cruise, Nico? I really loved it. It was a lot, a lot of fun. There were so many things that I experienced that I never experienced before. Um, at first, I had to get used to the rocking of the boat when I first slept here, but it didn't even matter until the end. Um, if I were to go on the cruise again, I would definitely would. It's like literally like one of the best experiences you'll ever have. Oh, well, nice. Uh, the food and all the drinks, right? Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Those are all really great. All right, so I recommend it. Yes. Two thumbs up. <laughs> How'd you like the cruise, Leslie? I really enjoyed it. I would do it again, totally. Yeah, I enjoyed the food, and I think it's good to get the beverage uh, beverage package. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and great communication via the internet package as well, because our family, we were able to communicate with each other and find each other. It was no problem. Oh, yeah. I would recommend it. I'm it's, ready to do another one. It's a good family bonding time. Oh, yeah. Good oh, yeah, bonding sure. time. <laughs> that is going to wrap up our carnival panorama cruise now i hopefully answered all of the little questions that you've had this is real time cruising right now yes. we missed a question go ahead and put it in the comments below and we'll try to answer them oh yeah mm -hmm. and as you heard from all the interviews from the first time cruisers they loved it mm -hmm. this is our 15th cruise we finally got our platinum yeah Actually, it's in my pocket yeah, a little little platinum color right there. I got our platinum card. Yep. So we're whether or not we go on another, we're gonna go on another cruise actually next year for Carnival. Whether or not we try different branches yet, uh, we most likely will. Just right. don't know when, but because we really are kind of loyal to Carnival. Oh yeah. It's, and it's a fun ship. It is really a fun. It day. is a fun ship. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we want to thank so many fans that we ran into on this cruise yes yes thank so you many. so much for saying hi to us we chit chatted with a lot of them oh yeah and uh, thank you for the lady in Mazatlan that recognized us at the uh, bakery at the right? bakery yeah yeah uh thank you so much um our our cook our cook from the Banza Tepanyaki he remembered us last time on the cruise mm -hmm. so i uh, thank you for remembering us as well yes. anything else maybe um yeah i think that's it yeah Everybody who um it. Yeah, I, I named it in the other ones, but we have two other videos out. We do. Uh, one for the specialty dining and one for the ports. Yes, we so do. So if you haven't seen those, be sure to check those out. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. We didn't want to do a daily vlog, so hopefully this compilation is just perfect. It takes you a little bit tasting cruising, and we recommend it just to anybody. Oh, uh, for sure, for sure. So we're signing off now from the Carnival Panorama. Yes. Until our next cruise. Yes. We'll catch you guys in the next one.